and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Thursday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Afternoon, or should I say evening? Oh, that's a good question at this time of day, isn't it? Um, are you looking for anything in particular? Well, I'm in a quandary, to be honest with you. Oh, right, well, perhaps I can help. <laughs> I don't know whether to buy chocolate or cigarettes. Oh, that is a quandary. I'm trying to stay strong and cut down the ciggies. Well, you should definitely go for the chocolate in that case. But then I shouldn't be eating chocolate either. Too much sugar, you know, it's a terrible thing. Oh, <laughs> it's a vicious circle being virtuous. <laughs> God, this shop has really come on. Really changed, you know. Has it? I wouldn't really know, to be honest. I've not lived in Ambridge that long. Oh, I used to come in here as a kid and steal the penny chews. <laughs> Well, that's a rite of passage, isn't it? I suppose it is, yeah. So you're local, are you? Or you used to be? Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, you know. It's uh, been a while. Wow. Huh. We cooking? Chilli tofu and noodles. Really? What? Well, I don't know, you don't normally cook tofu. I'm trying to get into the non-dairy, no-meat vibe. Ah, you don't have to join me in the madness, Harrison. It's not madness, though, is it? Well, you know what I mean, loads of people think it is. But not just in Elliot's. No, no. I was amazed that he was so into the idea of a meat and dairy-free cafe. I mean, you just wouldn't expect it, would you? I don't know. People can surprise you. But he genuinely seems to believe it would make a good business. Of course he does, because it would. Mm. All that stuff's massive now. And it's brilliant, because actually you won't be in competition with the tea room or the bull, mm. because you're offering something completely different. Yeah, well, that's handy in loads of ways, because I don't want to compete with Natasha or my mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to compete with them either. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... um. It's exciting. <laughs> it's done you good, I think. What? Planning and dreaming and, you know, generally being glad to be alive. <laughs> I mean, I've always been glad to be alive. <laughs> Never that bad. I, I hope it it wasn't, was it? No! Yeah, of course not. Yeah, good. But we uh, have been pretty low. Yeah, we have. Oh, do, do you want a glass of wine? Oh, yeah, that sounds nice. It's a crisp white. Ooh. I don't know if it goes with the uh, tofu. Oh, sure, it'll be great. Right. Shall I do it, because you're cooking? OK. Yeah, thanks. OK. How was your day? Yeah, it was good, thanks. Uneventful, but uh, uneventful is good. I'll drink to that. <laughs> OK, I think I've made a decision. Excellent. One real ale. One lager. Let me know, won't you, which one you prefer? Oh, I certainly will. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like? Hmm. Crisps, maybe. Well, we've got a very good selection. Oh, you really have. Oh, hi, Kate. Oh, I was worried you might have closed. No, no, nearly, but not quite. Ah, you got salt and vinegar chipsticks. They're my favourite. Do you know what? Me too. Oh, my partner, Mick. He likes prawn cocktail. Well, they just turn my stomach. I'm with you there. <laughs> <laughs> Clive. Sorry? You're... You're Clive Horriman. Oh, do you two know each other? <laughs> I don't think so. We do. Oh, sorry, love. I, I don't recognise you at all. Don't you? Well, it's been a long while since I lived round here. Oh. Well, I'm the bitch. Sorry. <laughs> I think you heard me. Kate, what's going on? Who is this? Well, let me introduce you both. Clive, this is Joy. She's lovely. Joy, this is Clive. He's horrible. 
He held up the village post office and kept me and several others hostage. I was 15 years old and he held a gun to my face and called me a I'm bitch. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't realise who you were, did I? No, clearly. It was a long time ago. But you knew who I was then and you knew I was 15 and you scared us all half to death. OK, Clive, you need to leave the shop. Hang on a minute. Let's not be too hasty. No, you need to leave now. I'm not serving you. Well, that's not right. I had no idea who you were. Uh, look, a man can change. Can he? Can you? Cos I just look at you and I feel a sort of rising panic. Uh, uh, look, don't panic. Just breathe. Oh, don't tell me to breathe. <laughs> what, what you do, no, writers? No, I know breathing techniques. I teach breathing techniques. Please, will you just leave? Uh, no, sorry, uh, Sorry, uh, Joy, is it? I, I need to talk to her. But she doesn't want to talk to you. She's made that clear. <sighs> Listen, Kate. Listen, sweetheart. Don't call me sweetheart. I've changed. I'm a changed man, OK? I do yoga. <laughs> you. You do yoga. We've got things in common, you and me. I, I've heard you run a whole, like, retreat kind of place... I was thinking I could come along to one of your classes, even. It might be healing for both of us. Are you out of your mind? Mm. This wine's nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. It's going to go straight to my head if I don't slow down. I'm so hungry. I didn't know you took work off. Oh, we were really busy. Well, that's not good. I must be my own boss. Well, it won't be long, will it? Till I'm my own boss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I better not count my chickens yet. Well, yeah, especially because, you know, the whole endeavour will be poultry free. Oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> A really lovely, handsome idiot. Well, I don't like the sound of that at all. Sorry, you're not an idiot, but you are handsome. <laughs> are you drunk already? <laughs> I mean it, honestly. You're, you're gorgeous. Well, thank you. We need a holiday. Do you think? Where do you want to go? Somewhere hot, somewhere uh, romantic. Okay. <laughs> somewhere that we can just forget everything that's happened lately and, I don't know, just, like, have loads of sex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was not expecting you to say that. I'm sorry. I, I mean, you definitely don't have to apologise. So. Will you kiss me? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Do you think the dinner will keep? I thought you were ravenously hungry. Well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just a bit confused. Don't get me wrong, I'm keen. I, I'm just confused. What, uh, what's changed? I think I'm just sick of being miserable. Right. Aren't you? Well, I thought we were doing pretty well lately. But we haven't slept together you know, properly since... Yeah, well, no, because you didn't want to. No, it's uh, not that I didn't want to. No, no, but, but oh, you know what I mean. I was scared of another um, accident. Oh, and I understand that. I know I do. And I, I'm sorry, I realise I'm ruining the moment here, but um, what's happened? Are you, are you not scared anymore? or, or are we... No, no, I am, I am scared, I am, but um, right. I don't want to carry on like this. It feels awful and, and a bit mad and unnecessary and... I really love you and I really fancy you and I just, I want to go to bed. <laughs> Do you know what? There's something very wrong with this village. There's nothing wrong with the village. This village is very nice. Now get lost. Wow. Are you all right, pet? Oh, I'm shaking. I feel like I'm going to fall over. Oh, um... Let's get you a seat. Here. Oh. Sit down, sit down. I just didn't realise. When I came in, I didn't realise straight away. It was it was while he was talking about crisps. And I was like, that voice. Where do I know that voice from? Oh, I had no idea. No <laughs> idea at all. Well, why would you? I mean, I'd heard of the robbery. Yeah, but you couldn't have possibly have known it was him. I know, but still... And seeing him in here for you. Oh, that was so scary. But you didn't act scared. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. 
You were very young. Oh. You know, there was this moment when we thought Jack was dying. Jack Woolley, Gran's husband, he was one of the other hostages and he had a heart attack right in front of us. Oh. We wanted to call an ambulance, but Clive ripped the phone off the wall. He what? I mean, that's not the only awful thing he's done. There have been other incidents, but the robbery really, really affected me and my sister Debbie. She had all sorts of trouble after. I mean, she's fine now, but it took a while. Well, you were amazing just then. Really amazing. So were you. You threw him out. Yeah. <laughs> right? <sighs> oh, so, what did you come in here for? What? What did you want to buy? Oh, yeah, um, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> mm. So, where are we going on the on this holiday then, to have all this sex? <laughs> um, France? France? It's not going to be hot in the autumn. Well, it depends where we go. Uh, well, Spain then. Yeah? Spain, maybe. Well, what about Greece? Uh, when does Greece get cold? Well, it's surprisingly cold at Easter. Is it? Yeah. Went there once at Easter and I was freezing. But we're not, we're not talking about March, April, are we? No, no, like uh, end of October, November, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I need to see when I can get the time booked off work. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, even if it's just Friday morning to Monday night. Yeah. Well, anything's better than nothing. I just like to get away. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Sounds good. We could have a look, couldn't we? After dinner. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Hey, I wonder who was yelling. What? 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 Earlier when we heard that bloke yelling outside. Mm -hmm. Wasn't great time. <laughs> well, he didn't stop us. <laughs> no, true. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, do, do you? Yeah. Oh, you're nice. It was, uh, it was lovely. Apart from the bloke. Yeah, well, <laughs> nothing's perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> if only. You are. Oh, Harrison. You are. Oh, shut up and get the dinner on, will you? Oh, that's all I am to you, eh? Sex and then your tea. Too right. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make you laugh. Yeah, you do. You really do. Then we might just make it, eh? What do you mean? I mean, you know, we might just grow all together. Did you ever think that we might not? Well, didn't you? Well, I don't know. Uh, no. I mean, things have been... I know, pretty... but... So I... But I never, ever thought we were going to split up. Oh, good. But you did. Well, I... I don't know if I love him. I mean, I... did you want to? Of course not. Never. spot effects on the arches uh, just uh, yeah, any are you what we call foley then uh kind of yep first. okay and and these are these are all part of the uh paraphernalia of production uh yep that's uh, the ball bar that's this one yep that's i mean Haley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came it's uh, due in two months uh, not much chance of that now no i mean it would have been a stretch for them financially mine but Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever.